the FPC, it's got a couple cool things. And before we get into all those, let me tell you a little bit about what we do here at RDR. We're a soft goods manufacturer. We specialize in plate carriers, placards, chest rigs, a full line of far end holster, holster mods, holster wraps, a full line of canine gear, all that stuff you can find on our website at rdrgear.com. If you have a question about a current order, a pending order, or a general question at all, email info at rdrholsters.com. All the house command on the way, well, let's talk FPC or pistol, folding pistol caliber carbine. You guys can see it's folded in half. But when I grab it this way, I have to open it like this. We are clear and safe for everybody at home. And yeah, that's the charging handle, right? So what this is, is a modern take on the Caltech, uh, God, I can't remember, was it P2000? That was a folding gun, but the option for you to have any type of accessories was pretty much gone because it folded this way, like an alligator mouth and open backwards, there's an open sideways. That is one of the benefits of this system is that once you do close it, all, oh, blooper, all of your accessories can stay on the weapon. We had a TLR1 rifle light on here this morning. Uh, we lost it at the range. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're moving on without it. Um, since you cannot add a QD type swivel, sling swivel on the inside of the rail, you have to mount it up top. That's the first strike on the FPC. Smith Wesson did not think of where they're gonna put the front swivel but they did make a back swivel, right? This is right here. So you'll see in the video today, we ran it with a sling for a little while, and that's something we'll talk about in a minute. This sling, I feel, when I first had this, and I thought the professional end user aspect, sling is a very crucial component for civilian or professional end user, either or. But um, it does lack because where are you gonna put the sling on the front, okay? So, uh, when you look at the folding caliber carbine, as I mentioned earlier, all of your accessories and components stay up top. So running the Hollow Sun 403R, ADM mount, Magpul, QD, and then we have the CGS 9mm suppressor. This is a direct thread, uh, something with the new YouTube channel rules. We haven't done anything up here, but to help with the recoil impulse on the FPC, under here is an angst arms half by 28 tri-lug adapter that you just thread onto the existing half by 20 threads. And now you have a tri-lug slash birdcage uh, muzzle device that you guys can Google and research yourself. And that's a great option if you're looking at this system. The gun comes with two 23 round magazines. So, and then one 17 round magazine. Um, so the magazines work great, very, MMP from here is all MMP, right? Um, trigger is phenomenal on the system. Uh, magazines, great. Grip angle, great. You get this typical MMP parts components. This is the folding lever. Um, we added some Magpul rail panels just for texture and grip. Uh, hand stop up top. This is your charging handle. So this is how you're going to chamber around. Some of the safety features on the FPC is when the round is chambered, it will not fold. Right, and so and it cannot, so you can't store it round chambered when it's folded, and you cannot uh, break it open with a round chambered either. So that's something there. Uh, the storage mag release, this is where it's going to get bad. So I don't know who thought this up, but that dude probably is working at high point right now, because you have two magazines stored. Clever design. Clever, clever design. You guys will see. Um, this is a very clever design to store, what is it, 23, so that's what, 46 rounds on board, 17 in the gun, at a five plus one, you got 21, 22. You're looking at 65 something plus rounds on here. Um, that's phenomenal. But this is the magazine release device, right? And so when you look at it this way, and you guys on the camera, I'm gonna look up. So in theory, if I pushed the left side lever, it would release the left side magazine. If I released the right side lever, it released the right side magazine. When I push the right side lever, I'm gonna lift up on this one, the right magazine doesn't come out. But when I push up on the right lever, 
the left magazine comes out. And when I push on the left side lever, the right magazine comes out, right? And this is what we found at the range was the problem. And I watched a ton of videos on this thing um, from, from different reviewers, or whatever. And I get it when you get free weapons. This one we, get, we bought and you don't want to highlight issues. But if I'm shooting this gun, magazine drops out and I go to naturally push on the magazine lever for the inside left mag and it does not come out. That's a problem. I have to remember, I'm gonna have to reach over further, hit the right side mag release, and the mag comes out and goes in the gun. And you don't understand why it's backwards. Because now I go again, I have to reach underneath here, find it, find it, and, oh, damn it. Okay. Jesus Christ. Pull it, and then now I gotta wiggle this thing out from my hand to try to get the gun in the mag in the gun. Dumbest part of this product, by far. The, how they kind of went to this really cool, very sleek design stock, which makes it all six inch legal length, and then just lay a turd in how the mags are gonna come out. I'm sure there was some reason for it, but it just really kills the entire function. Because if the magazines came out, they were stored in here like so, right? and I was able just to hit that button and pull that mag out, great. And same thing over here, I could hit the same release and pull it out and come out. I can clear it out of my way to come down. I just can't do that when I'm trying to find. It's great on the inside, but if I had to go to a third magazine, I'm in trouble because now it's very, very awkward to get that third mag out. But that's remember, I gotta push on the inside and then now how do I get my fingers around it because you literally, that's what I've got going on, this weird, like, it reminds me of the French fry you dropped in the center between the two seats in the car, and you're trying to get that French fry out, your hands are all mangled, that's what it's like, right? Because literally I'm trying to get, again, because I get caught up on the charging handle underneath my three fingers right there. So now I gotta change, and hope to God I don't drop that thing. So, when I had high hopes for this as a potential and a little backstory on that is I got a good friend of mine, Chris, who lives in Rhode Island. They have a very small PD over there. He helps them out with a lot of training as an armor and different things. The resource officers over there are looking for options for schools. Um, very small town, only 20 officers in that department. And money is always an issue. So, but the chief is very forward thinking. The chief understands there are some things, unfortunately, within this country in regards to schools that he wants to be ahead of the curve. Uh, I thought, well, God, this could be an option based on price, adding a quality dot, adding a sling mount, adding some type of device. There's potential here. No, it's not. This really kills this entire platform. This ends up being your novelty, survival, cabin, plinker, whatever you want to do with it, but it does have limited end user options. In the side of the end user role, shooting it suppressed, and again, nothing with negative on the CGS can. Uh, I think it's more design. As you are shooting this thing suppressed, last night I was at my local range zeroing this thing, and even outside today, with it being all met plastic and all these seams open and whatnot, as you're shooting this thing, that gas comes literally right back in your face. Last night when I was at uh, my local indoor range, I shot I think three mags. Um, after three mags, I had a bit of a headache. Uh, just that, that's a lot of carbon to be taken in um, with that close to the face. So that was an issue there. And, and lastly, this, why this has a safety on it, I have no clue, All right? This is a safety. Why it needs a safety, I don't know. Because it doesn't fire unless it's folded. And if it's opened, I don't, as long as I don't get in the trigger guard. But now if I don't forget to flip the safety like a 870, the gun doesn't fire, right? So this safety thing, uh, Smith & Wesson has always been known for that with their, with their early drop, uh, the, the mag disconnect, with the magazine off the gun, the gun wouldn't fire. I don't understand why they gotta go this extra whatever in regards to safety stuff. It's just, it, I don't know. But 
at the end of the day, you guys, it is a very forward thinking, very cool design. Um, it comes in a very simple bag that does have some advantage to it in regards to what you can store in there, like some medical devices you can put in there, uh, trauma kit, you can put some uh, just random stuff that you could have as a go bag. The one shining, shining, shining positive to this pistol or pistol carbine is that it shoots lights out. It's pretty accurate. I mean, not bad. That's me holding the high, but once I fix it. It is extremely accurate. Um, you are going to easily hold, you know, probably a, you know, I don't want to even do MOAs, but it's a nine mil, but uh, we shot some 25 yards last night at the indoor range. We shot some B8s today. Um, it is a very accurate system. This is something that I think if Smith & Wesson could go back and address the mag storage issue, uh, maybe upgrade the charging system, get rid of some of the plastic and replace it with metal, this could have some potential in the future. Um, but as it sits right now, <coughs> with it being this back here, um, I, I just don't know what else it is other than a novelty. Uh, it is ex inexpensive to purchase, um, and there is some cool features to it. Uh, this will end up probably being, honestly, the firearm that goes into Chad, my brother, his trailer for the kids and the camping trips. Um, but he can take the bag, throw it over his back. He can take it to the lake. He can go wherever. And it's something simple that can be ran. Um, and him not being a super big gun guy, this is a very good option for him because once it's opened, magazine's out, you do have three points of contact. So therefore you're gonna have a much better accurized round. The nine mil shooting some like say 124s, 147 <coughs> out of a 16 inch barrel. That's got a very good ballistics package behind it and a very good terminal velocity. Therefore, you're gonna do some damage to whatever you have to shoot. But again, um, not much else I can do with this other than simply make it a uh, cabin gun, camper gun. So. That's what I got for you guys. This is a Smith & Wesson FPC folding pistol carbine. Uh, I was excited, but I was also let down. So uh, with that out the way, as always, guys, you made it this far in the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, especially. That helps our channel grow. It also change the YouTube algorithm to show you more content like this and other channels like it. Until next time, be well. Take care.